nine left for dead. And tonight, Middletown police say they are searching for two men who were with her. But that's not all. Officers are taking it upon themselves to step up for the children she leaves behind. Jake Ryle is live in Middletown. Jake, what can you tell us? Well, guys, this has really been just a story of beauty through the tragedy. We've seen the response here in the Middletown community, and it has been great. We've seen it coming through the Middletown Police Department really all afternoon. People they are donating clothes, food, even toys to help out a family in need. Middletown Police, though, they did find a woman dead last night. Jimena Sanders died of a suspected drug overdose. She leaves behind nine children between the ages of 1 and 14, all of them inside the home at the time. Now today, detectives with Middletown Police reached out on social media to the Middletown community less than two weeks away from Christmas. Already, the community has raised more than $15,000 for the family. We had a chance to speak with Chief Rodney Mutersball. He tells me what he's seen is a community coming together, and it's been phenomenal. That's the great thing is um, that, you know, in our city, sometimes we take, we take our licks and sometimes we deserve them, but when something bad happens, this town steps up and they're doing that today. They need anything. Um, we have people donating. It's funny. We have people donating a thousand dollars, but one dollar. If you have two dollars, anything helps uh, to put this family back where they need to be. I mean, I couldn't imagine being a dad with nine kids and losing the mother and not having anything. Now, if you'd like to donate money, there is a fund set up with Butler Heritage Federal Credit Union. That's at 660 North University Boulevard. You're going to want to make sure that you mention the kindness for Sanders family. You could also drop off any donations of toys, food, even clothes here for this family of nine at the Middletown Police Department. For now, reporting live in Middletown, Jake Ryle 9 on your side.